Yo 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 what's up guys so welcome to Korea I got here one hour ago from Hungary Wanted me to take a move guys but where What's up guys? So welcome to Korea. I got here one hour ago from Hungary and finally I could get out of Hungary without having so much trouble. Uh, yeah, hang on because in the same time I am trying to eat chak. Yes, so finally I could get out of Hungary without having so much trouble. Like I said before, I wasn't supposed to be at all in uh, the country and I sneak in between Slovakia and Hungary and I wasn't sure if I was about to have some trouble to exit the country. Anyway, right now I am on my way to the next village uh, which is about 20 or 25 kilometers away from here and uh, yes guys like you can see there is not much around me and uh, hopefully I could get out before the night come so finally I couldn't catch a ride So I am basically stuck here at the border, not too bad, I think I found a place to sleep for tonight, somewhere there, and yes, I was asking couple custom officer, but uh, apparently they wasn't so much uh, helpful, so I guess I will have to manage it by myself. Uh, yes guys, so far uh, so good. I'm just waiting to eat back the road and tomorrow I will be on my way yes, to Zagreb. Uh, good evening. Sorry. Oh, I am waiting to hitchhack. What? I am waiting to hitchhack, hitchhacking. So basically people like she wants me to leave, you know. She wants me to leave that place, but uh, I cannot go. Like I cannot go anywhere. It's dark, and I have to wait here until like uh, the day come, you know. Or I don't know. But she wants me to leave, you know, basically. She wanted me to take a move, guys. But where? I couldn't get a ride for tonight, and unfortunately. I got stuck here and you know what like maybe before her I talked to her boss and she told me I could wait here because there is a car accident on the road so I could basically just wait here and she came and she told me no I have to take a move you know what she talked to her boss and her boss told her that I could wait here uh, so I am fine I think I won't be able to sleep here but anyway Uh, I can just wait and see what is coming next. It's funny because while I was traveling in Mexico, Africa, Central America and many other places, I found out that the custom border, the police officer or even sometimes the firemen were definitely more helpful and friendly when they see a traveler. They can help you to figure out a place to sleep for the night or to figure out any kind of situation. But here it is such a different vibe and atmosphere. It is not the one I prefer the most, but uh, it is all about adaptation. So right now I am just waiting that the situation get better. Maybe I could take a move to the next uh, village, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Stay tuned. So, Nicolas dropped me 
to the village it is quite late you know so yeah later on I would like to explain to you how I get here uh, guys I was just walking on my way to find a place to sleep and I came across this building and like you can see behind me there is a lot of impact of bullets, you know, and I guess it was happening during the war. Uh, I am not really sure yet, you know, but tomorrow I'm gonna ask, but uh, I think it was during the war, during the Balkan war. Yeah, it's really impressive. Uh, now guys, I can tell you, I'm pretty sure it was uh, during the war. You can see like the impact of the bullet in the war. And before I heard a lot about that, you know. So wow. Big history. I should find a place to sleep, you know, but I keep on discovering different places and, you know, I really like it. Yes, guys, uh, good morning, that was my nomad camps of last night, I think I slept around 4 in the morning, and now it is about like 8, so I didn't sleep so much, but yesterday I was just walking, walking, you know, and I found the city really interesting, there is so many stuff to see, like church and old building, uh, I definitely want to take you around. And yes, guys, that was my spot of last night. <sighs> not too bad, not too bad. All right. So now I'm gonna pack up my stuff and take you to the center. When I'm getting to a new country, I always have to take some time to adapt myself and to see what I can do and what I cannot do. Sometimes it takes few days or sometimes it is quite quick. It depends about the place where I am. And yes, uh, right now the process have started. I am just looking about uh, how are the people and the atmosphere and everything. And yes. 